everybody, Dark Zekrom here, and welcome back to episode 2 of our Pokemon trading card game online series that we are currently doing. I'm going to stick with the uh, trainer challenges for t uh, just for a while. I might change things up a little bit in the future and do some real battles after I get some of my uh, actual Pokemon card, like the real life booster packs. They have those online cards. If I can find those, I'll uh, put them into the game. And then, uh, yeah. So, the reason I haven't been uploading a little bit more recently is because I just moved, which is also why it might echo a little bit more than usual in here. Uh, but yeah, I just moved over the weekend. In fact, two days ago, as of this recording, and it might go up tomorrow, so it might go up the 30th of June. Not sure yet. But today's objective is... I'm pretty sure today's objective is over here. Yeah, win one match that with a theme deck that contains grass-type Pokemon, which we do have. So we're going to go back to the trainer challenge. We're going to choose the black-white basic uh, deck, and we're going to select then a trainer who seems to be none of these. Is it Juji or Kendall? I think it's Kendall's next. Yeah, so we're going to fight Kendall. Kendall isn't just a skilled TCG player, she also has a successful mathlete who loves statistics, manga, and electronic music. When she goes to the tournaments, she can be often found playing Pokemon games on her Nintendo DS system between rounds. Well, this is kind of old, because it should say 3DS. But, um, let's get into the, uh, thing here. Let's fight Kendall. Hey, Dark Zekrop9898, you've done well so far. Let's see which one of our decks has the edge. I don't know why that was in all caps, but it sure as hell was. So we're going to get back into the groove of things, back into the TCG. Let's see, we have two Patrats we can choose from. We choose you. And we're going to send this one out on the bench. Oops, I meant to put that on the bench. Uh-oh. Okay. Negative ion. Aw, oh, what really? Okay, what is going on here? What is happening? You basic energy cards, reveal them, so dark and two electric. Professor's letter, I meant to put this patch rat, and now I feel like it's going to cause me to lose because of that. Okay, my turn. So now we're going to play the patch rat onto the bench. What is this? Random receiver, reveal cards from the top of your deck, and do a supporter card, put it in your hand, shove the deck. Okay. Uh, not yet. Pokeball, we'll play the Pokeball, because I know the flip ahead. Yep. So now we get to search for a Pokemon. And do I want a Snivy? Do I want a Watch Hog? Hypno Blast. Psych Up. 30 more damage? Ooh. I might actually pull this Watch Hog. It's actually pretty good. We only have one Grass Energy, though. So I'm debating if I want a Snivy. Let's take the Watch Hog. I'm going to take the Watch Hog. And then I'm going to evolve next turn. Sound like I can right now. Rescue Scarf. The Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage that put the Pokemon into your hand. I'm going to pop that out there. And then do another... Um, oh, it has to be attached. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to do a random receiver. Put it in your hand and shuffle the decks. So where's my support card? Oh, wow. There's my supporter card. Done. So now we have Bianca who I believe pulls draw cards and they have six in your hand, so we have one, two, three, four. I don't think I can play anything right now though. And what happened here? Oh, whoa, it just lagged apparently. But we did get energy cards, so we're gonna attach an energy card and I think we're gonna play... No, we're gonna collect now, so now let's collect. And we're gonna get a worm pole, which I can put out into the bench and the next turn we'll evolve our Patrat. Negative ion. I think that like it lowers the uh, damage by 30. I'm pretty sure is what that does. So now we're gonna evolve Watch Hog. So now we have Watch Hog here. He's evolved. Sweet. We've got one energy for Hypno Blast, which is 20 damage, and then Psych Up, which we will probably use just to do some extra damage. So let's use Psych Up. Do 30 damage to it, and then next turn, my psych up will do 60, which should kill it out. Or kill it out, kill it. Wait, what does this do? During your opponent's next turn, any damage done by attacks from the defending Pokemon is reduced by 30. Interesting. That's weird. So, actually, we're going to play this card, and then we're going to. What is this? Town map. Turn all your prize cards face up. This prize card may face up. Ooh, yes, please. 
So we have five energies and a superior. Huh. Uh, good to know. We're going to attach that there. And then this Pokemon deals reduced damage. Damage from this Pokemon is increased. Sweet. So now we're just going to psych up and should knock it out. Sweet. I think we'll just stick with the psych up. I'm actually going to pull the superior. So then later we can attach a Snivy if we pull a Snivy, which we should soon. I don't see why we wouldn't. Ow, headbutt. That didn't hurt very much, so that's good. Let's see, we've got another random receiver, which I didn't mean to play, actually. Where's my supporter card? Wow. Okay. Wow, look at those Bouffalant cards. Wow, okay. That was a lot of cards. Drawn to six cards. There's the Snivy. Okay, so we're going to put the Snivy out, and the next turn we're going to um, evolve it. I don't think we can evolve it all the way, but we're going to evolve it. Uh, let's use Psych Up again. It should do 60 damage, which one, which Oko's the Dino. Sweet. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to choose a prize card, so we're just going to choose the Grass Energy, because that's all we can choose, because that's all those prize cards are. Is this a different Minun? No, it's the same Minun. Oh, they're on a plane. That's cool. What just happened? Did it evolve? Oh, it evolved. Now we have a Zwilus on the field. What's Evo Soda? Okay. So now we have two Zwilus on the opponent's bench, so it's kind of worrying. Let's see, double hit, flip two coins, attack does 20 damage times the number of heads, and just basically strength. Okay, so we're going to evolve our Snivy. Cool, get it, understood. And we're going to attach one more energy to it, and then now, uh, let's see, we have two energies, so now we can use double slash, and then afterwards we can use Mega Drain, so it's psych up. And we're going to Oko. And we're going to choose another prize card. Got another Zwilus. Whoa. Whoa, okay, that's a Hydreigon. All energy attached to this Pokemon are dark energy instead of their usual type. What? Does 40 damage to two of your opponent's bench? Oh my lord, we need to get rid of this thing. Evolve. Uh, cool. Animations. Pop it on there. So now we can use Giga Drain. Pop that out there. Uh, what is your weakness? What are you weak to? You're weak to fighting. Uh-oh. I don't have any fighting types. So we're just going to keep psyching up, and that'll do 60 damage. Okay. Let's see. Let's just attach. You're all set up, right? Like, you're good to go. You have... Th you should have three energy cards on you. One, two, three. Okay, you're good to go. So I'm going to pop this on... this on a U, and then we're just going to keep psyching up. That's all we're going to do, because my damage will constantly be increased if I keep psyching up. Oh, we killed it! Sweet! So I was worried about nothing. Oh no, it retreated! Oh, it retreated! So it does 20 damage times the number of heads, so it only does 20 damage to me. How much does its retreat cost? How much was its retreat cost? Three. Oh, wow. Why did it retreat? That's weird. Full heal, move all special conditions... And now we're going to attach this to you, so we can sleep poison. Either way, we would do some damage, because that would sleep or, or poison it. I think I would prefer poison, to be honest. Get constant damage going. Another double hit. Okay, so now it's going to do 60 damage. 40 damage, I mean. So this watchhog has been putting in its work. This watchhog has been doing pretty well, so I'm going to attach grass energy to you. And we're going to do another Psych Up. See, the good thing is, if we do get Narch Hog knocked out, we can then pull it back into the hand because of the trainer card attached to it, and then we can put it back on the Patch Rat. Alright, Minon, what do you want? Oh, that's cute! It's like the... Oh, that's cute. Tag draw. Shuffle your deck into your hand. Shuffle so your hand into your deck and draw four cards. If Minon's in your bench, draw four more cards. There's no Minon in the bench. So now we have a Boofal on here. Any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20 after applying weaknesses and resistance. That's pretty good. Gold Breaker. The defending Pokemon is a Pokemon EX. This attack does 60 more damage. Wow. Um, put this on Yanma. And then we'll just Psych Up again, which should Oko it. And we're going to win by getting all of our prize cards. This is a Sableye. Doesn't have a weakness or resistance. Confuse Ray and Junk Hunt. It's not a very useful card, to be honest. 
So we should be able to get rid of this thing pretty soon here. Oh wow, it has just 10 more HP than it needed. And after we kill this Sable Eye, which I'm just going to attach this to you for no reason, after we kill this Sable Eye, which I'm just going to Hypnoblast for GP, we shall win. Because now we have... Wait, what? Why did it do that? I don't know why it did that. But anyway, we won. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, trainer challenge score, whatever. Oh, we unlocked two Calruses into the deck. So that's pretty good. We got two uh, Pokey Tokens, or po Pokens? I don't know what it is. Uh, we won a match with a Deem deck that contained Grass types, so we got 25 more. And our Grass has leveled up a little bit. Player's MVP Watchhog, because it did absolutely everything to knock everything out. We got 27 trainer tokens, got black and white basic green card updated. A uh, good amount of trainer score, total game time was only 8 minutes, and we collected all of our prize cards to win the game, with 12 turns taken. Sweet, so I think we'll do another one. We'll get rid of Tyson, who has a fire and grass deck. Interesting. So let's change our deck real quick. Let's view this. Uh, I know we unlocked... Calrus. What does Calrus do? Where is he? There he is. What do you do? Calrus is a Team Plasma card. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw a number of cards equal to the number of benched Pokemon. Both yours and your opponents? Whoa. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. So we have some really cool cards for this deck now. What do we have going on here? Yeah, we have some really cool cards for this deck. Now, I don't know... See your, what are you, Tyson? You are grass and fire. Fire and grass type. So if I choose fire, yeah, I'm gonna choose the fire deck because it resists and it's strong against. So I think I'm gonna go with fire deck for this one. Fire and colorless. While you have grass and fire, the name Tyson. No boxing or food jokes, please. Really? I guess uh, <laughs> I guess Game Freak and Pokemon have been uh, paying a little attention to uh, some, um, what's it called, to uh, pop culture. Do we want Torchic or do we want Full Picks? We want Torchic because that'll actually do some damage. Well, yeah, we'll do Torchic. So we've got Torchic on the field and we're going to choose Volpix as the bench and then we have... This, discard a Pokemon tool card attached to the Pokemon, and Super Fang. Put damage on his Pokemon until it was ring. HP is 10. Oh my god, that Raticate is OP. We're going to play this, and then if we get heads, which we don't, darn it, we would, I think I might have chosen a Combuskin. But let's attach this to this. What does Ether do? Reveal the top card of your deck. If the top card is basic energy, guard one Pokemon. If it's not, return it to the top of the deck. So let's do that. And it's not, it's Sharon. So now we're going to just peck. Which is a weakness, so it does 20 damage versus 40. So this is pretty good. I don't understand why you would have... Did it just evolve already? Oh my. I don't know why you have a fire grass deck. I feel like that wouldn't work very well. Of course you get heads, and I don't. Uh, there's an Eevee on the field. Okay, please give me something good that I can use. Trainer card. Oh, I already knew it was coming. So now we have a Torkoal we can put on the deck, or on the bench, which I'm going to do. Flame Cloak, flip a head, a coin, if heads, it's attach a fire energy card from discard pile to this Pokemon. Heat Blast, which does 60 damage, so I might use you in a bit. I'm actually going to attach another energy, and we're going to live Coal, which will do 40 damage, which should do some pretty hefty damage to Yamungus, and keep. we'll get closer and closer to knocking out every turn if we keep doing it in this order. Hopefully we'll pull something that's pretty good. Now we only have 30 HP left. Oh, please don't heads, thank god. I do not want to deal with that. Please pull something that I can use pretty well. I got a Tepig, so sweet. We're going to put that on there. We're going to play this energy card to it. And then next turn, we're going to me Mega Evolve. We're going to just regular Evolve it, and we're going to Live Coal. And that kills the Amoongus. Now I don't have to worry about that thing anymore, thank God. And we're going to choose wah, Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Moe. Catch a Tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Moe. My mom told me to pick the very best one. And why? Oh, you spelled you. And we get a fire energy, of course. <clears throat> so you just pulled a Scyther. Okay. We're going to play Sharon again. And we've got a Combuskin now, so we're going to evolve our Torchic. And our Torchic now can double kick. And we need one more, and then we can Flamethrower, which will do this card an energy. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that, actually. 
I think I'm just going to stick with double kick. Flip a coin. Flip two coins, attack us 20 damage times the number of heads. So that should be fine. And then we'll play Vulpix again. And then we'll put this energy on you. So then we can use Rollout. What does Fire Breathing do? Flip a coin of heads, this attack us 20 more damage. That's pretty cool. We haven't gotten a Rattata yet, which makes me kind of upset. Come on. We need at least one heads to do at least some damage. Sweet. And I know it's a colorless, but it should be... Yeah, because I have all fire energies. It is a fire type. So that knocked it out. I'm going to choose this one, which is energy retrieval. Put two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. I don't know if I have any in there. I don't think I do, actually. Can I not check that? Random receiver. Reveal cards from the top of your deck until you reveal a supporter card. So we have two fire energies, a Leafeon, a Growlithe, Eevee, Potion, a bunch of energies... Dwebble, Roller Skate, Scyther. This is all for him, and there's his Tierno. <coughs> uh, let's see. I really don't have to worry about any of that. I'm not really too worried. So we have the Scyther out here. I'm going to play this Torchic for now. Um, I kind of want a Flamethrower just to get rid of this thing, because that'll destroy it. Can I not Flamethrower? Oh, I only have two, so I can't flamethrower. Okay. Um, I don't think I have any discard. Yeah, I don't have any in the discard pile, so we're just going to double kick. Can I get two heads? At least one head? Okay. No damage. Cool. <sighs> and that's going to kill me. So now I can energy retrieval. And we're going to play Pig Knight. And we're going to energy retrieval. After we put this Rattata on the field, what does it do? Paralyzing Gaze. Huh. And Energy Retrieval should give me these top two. Sweet. And then we just put them in our hand. Now we can attach them, which I'm going to do to Pig Knight. So now we can absolutely destroy with Fire Breathing. Flip a coin. This if heads, this attack does 20 more damage. So hopefully we get heads so we can do 120 damage. So the Scyther stood no chance. Bye, Scyther. <coughs> Sorry, I still have a bit of a hurt throat. Well, not really. It's just I'm not used to talking for such a long duration of time. Okay, so now this thing resists. Not doesn't resist fire, so that's good. If flip a coin, if heads, draw three cards. Luckily, you didn't get heads. What is with all of these drawing cards? Stamp it. I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate it. Stoke. What did that do? Flip a coin, if heads. Uh, search your deck for a fire energy card. Attached to that Pokemon. Wow. Okay, so we're going to put this fire energy... Actually, we're not. Actually, yes, we can. Who do we want to put it on? We can put it on Torchic. I'm actually going to put it on Torkoal. And then we're going to evolve the Rattata. And we now have this thing, which we need to put a bunch of energies on for it to do anything useful. So we're just going to fire breathe. Hopefully we get a heads. No, we don't. So we only do 40 damage, which isn't bad. This thing needs just another one of those to knock it out. So I'm not worried. Oh, you also have fire breathing. You only did 10 damage. Why does? Whoa, that's cool. Your fire breathing does less damage than mine. Um, I don't know if I really want to... I'm going to put it on this Torkoal. I feel like this Torkoal is going to be a little bit more useful than this Raticate. Because I think if I use Super Fang again after I use the Raticate, I don't think it will actually do damage. I think it will just do no damage. So hopefully we get a 60 even though we don't really need it. But it's just a little overkill just to ensure the kill, just in case maybe it did something with, like, a trainer card. Ooh, we got a Ninetales. Ooh, bright look. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with his or active. And we get Hex Flame. That's 50 more damage to, for each special condition. So we're going to evolve this Vulpix for no reason, really. And then we're going to attach this Fire Energy. Yes. And we're going to... Actually, can I cancel? Is there a way to cancel? Um, I don't think there's a way to cancel. Is there a way to cancel? Uh, no, there isn't. So we're just going to switch it with this thing. Just get rid of it. There we go. So now we're going to attach this fire energy to Torkoal, which that should do some damage now. And we're just going to fire breathe all over this thing. Hopefully we get heads. We don't, sadly. So now we're only going to do f have 10 HP. I wish I didn't switch. I didn't see what was out here. We would have murdered that to uh, Dwebble. Let's see, what do we get? We get an Ether, so we're going to pop that. And we get not what we needed for the Ether to do anything. So we're just going to fire breathe again. And no matter what we get, that should kill the Eevee. 
what you did. And we're going to take one more uh, energy card. And we now have a Growlithe out here. A Growlithe. Growlithe. Not really anything we need to or can do. I'm just going to put that there just in case something crazy happens. So now we're going to Fire Breathe. Hopefully we get 60. Which should become close to, if not knock out. It will come close to knocking out the uh, Growlithe because it has 80 HP. And let's see, we have more and more stuff that we can't use, so now we're just going to roll out for GP. Why? And we win because we drew all of our prize cards. Again, thank you, Tyson. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Really appreciate it. And we unlock two Rocky Helmets. Not bad. And we get two more uh, trainer tokens. Deck updated. Can I check these? Yes, I can. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is one of your active Pokemon and it is damaged by an opponent's, opponent's attack, even if the Pokemon is knocked out, put two damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So just like a regular Rocky Helmet. Uh, sweet. So I think we're going to end it off here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to stay tuned for the next episode and hopefully some new series coming out or not new series but new episodes of old series that have been kind of uh you know on the stale end of things for a while because like i said in the last episode i don't really want to record them because they aren't my favorite layouts but i'll fix the layout soon but like i said we just moved so give me time um, but yeah thanks so much for watching be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed and be sure to subscribe and join the hashtag Fusion Fam today. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Dark Zekrom, and I'll see you all later.